I was smitten by cancer in 2010 and I was treated at the Helen Diller Comprehensive Cancer Care Center at the University of California, San Francisco. But I'm saying so because we seem to be laying a lot of emphasis in building cancer centers. Let us work together in developing human resources which will help us treat cancer. But if we invest only in brick and mortar, we will not get it right. Bricks and mortar is the last approach. The county's first ladies association is rallying in the fight against the churning loss, wheeling around at an escalating speed that Kenya cannot seem to reel itself in, in matters cancer. However, their journey to eradicate cancer as well as reduce its impact dates back to 2014 at the onset of Beyond Zero campaigns when some of the first ladies joined the wagon to either champion screening of cervical cancer as well as mentoring in the same field. Cancer has continued to present facet challenges. The focus response has shifted to prevention and today the county's first ladies association continued to hit the road in the fight against the menace. Cancer is real for me and we want to just nip it in the bud. So cancer does not discriminate age, gender, class, it doesn't. Uh, but the people who suffer the most are the ones who are at the bottom of the food chain and they have no way of, of uh, you know, going through the health systems to get the help that they need. Uh, and we also know that early detection saves lives. So our focus is really there. It's not so much about getting people to get, uh, you know, these exclusive, uh, sophisticated services. It's about preventing whatever we can prevent and nipping it in the bud. Accompanied by the chair of the First Ladies Association, Nazi Kivuta, the delegation called for an integrated approach in the fight against cancer. While holding a meeting at the Cheramogi Oginga Udinga Teaching and Referral Hospital, the aim of the visit was to evaluate the county's existing structures on cancer management and care. And today we are here to talk about cancer. We want to see how we can push it out of this country. So as County First Ladies, we thought this is a time when we should also be heard, when we should also join the others who are already there, who have been working, to also lend a voice, uh, making sure that we have detected, we have uh, prevented, and we have treated cancer in all the counties. The association joined hands with the Roche organization, Women for Cancer and the African Cancer Foundation to implement an enabling and motivated partnership owned by women to engage and reclaim their lives. The project dubbed Empower seeks to contribute to prevention, early diagnosis, treatment with standard care and education of women in the community on cervical and breast cancer. This culminated in the signing of an MOU on July the 12th, 2019. During the deliberation at UTR hit, the participants agreed on lessons from managing HIV, citing mandatory cancer screening for everyone that walks into a health facility. The meeting recommended early screening to be undertaken at community level, conducted by community health workers. The cancer for us to win this battle, it has to go to the community level. We have to look at the role of community health volunteers from the community health workers in screening, getting out the people to come for screening. The Kisumu scenario pointed gaps in the availability of data, which then will be used to make informed decisions in investment priorities in cancer management. Anywhere in this country, women are dying of a disease that's preventable. And if you put those faces, it stops being a number, it becomes someone's mother, sister, cousin, or beloved, who is going to lose a life because of a cancer that can be prevented. In cancer and many of the non-communicable diseases, we do not have very uh, good data. 
as we have for infectious diseases. Today, if you ask us about the prevalence of HIV, we know it. If you ask us about prevalence of malaria, we know it. But we have very little information about cancers. The Empower project will be carried out in eight counties. Partners committed to setting up a screening center, staffed with community health workers who will also advise on nutrition matters. These are just but a few steps towards combating the cancer menace. A lot more needs to be done. Lorena Nyango, Isumu County.